varicose veins the best treatment options. Swollen, twisted, and enlarged veins seen under the skin, known as varicose veins, can cause achiness as well as embarrassment. The weakening of the valves causes the blood to pool, stretching the vein and causing it to protrude through the skin. As a curious child, you might remember staring at an older relative's thick stockings at the blue, gnarled veins lying under the skin like bumpy snakes. Known as varicose veins, these blood vessels, which return blood from the legs to the heart, are actually a more superficial system. Treating Varicose Veins You can find out how severe your varicose veins are by discussing results of an ultrasound with your physician. Together, you'll find the best treatment options for your individual case. These may include Sclerotherapy This is a painless saline injection treatment that collapses the vein so that it can then be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. Generally recommends sclerotherapy for small to medium varicose veins. Types of sclerotherapy for varicose vein treatment include Laser assisted, the least invasive and most advanced Foam sclerotherapy, for larger, more difficult to treat veins And ultrasound guided sclerotherapy, for large, deep veins that once required surgical treatment The advantage of sclerotherapy is that it can eliminate varicose veins with no pain or downtime the disadvantage is that the technique may not work for larger, more extensive varicose veins. You may also have to go back for follow-up treatments in order for your veins to completely disappear. Phlebectomy, also called vein stripping, this is a surgical procedure during which the surgeon makes small cuts near the damaged vein and removes the entire vein. Doctors sometimes do phlebectomy together with other procedures, such as ablation. The main advantage of phlebectomy is that it's a permanent treatment because the affected vein is totally removed, Dr. Gaspari says. But like any surgical procedure, it comes with some risks and requires more recovery time than less invasive methods of varicose vein treatment. Thermal ablation, also called radiofrequency ablation, thermal ablation, which has been around for about a decade involves using laser or radio frequency energy to heat the inside of the vein. Thermal ablation tends to work well as a varicose vein treatment, he says, but it can cause a little bruising and discomfort for the first week. Veins usually become less visible within one to two weeks. The procedure requires some local anesthesia. But most people have little pain after the procedure and can return to their normal activities. Non-thermal ablation, it's basically the same as thermal ablation, but instead of heat, we use a potent drug that destroys the vein more permanently. The second non-thermal ablation treatment for varicose veins, called the venous seal system, uses a glue to shut off the vein. Treating varicose veins Varicose veins don't always need treatment. If your varicose veins are not causing you discomfort, you may not need to have treatment. Treatment of varicose veins is usually necessary. To ease symptoms, if your varicose veins are causing you pain or discomfort. To treat complications, such as leg ulcers, swelling or skin discoloration. For cosmetic reasons, but this kind of treatment is rarely available on the NHS, so you'll usually have to pay for it to be done privately. If treatment is necessary, your doctor may first recommend up to six months of self-care at home, including using compression stockings, taking regular exercise, avoiding standing up for long periods, elevating the affected area when resting, compression stockings. Compression stockings are specially designed to steadily squeeze your legs to improve circulation. They are often tightest at the ankle and get gradually looser as they go further up your leg. This encourages blood to flow upwards towards your heart. Wearing Compression Stockings If compression stockings are causing the skin on your legs to become dry, try applying a moisturizing cream, emollient, before you go to bed to keep your skin moist. Caring for Compression Stockings Compression stockings should be hand-washed in warm water and dried away from direct heat. Intothermal ablation 
one of the first treatments offered will usually be endothermal ablation. This involves using energy either from high-frequency radio waves, radio-frequency ablation, or lasers, endovenous laser treatment, to seal the affected veins. Radio-frequency ablation Radio-frequency ablation involves heating the wall of your varicose vein using radio-frequency energy. The vein is accessed through a small cut made just above or below the knee. Endovenous laser treatment Endovenous laser treatment involves having a catheter inserted into your vein and using an ultrasound scan to guide it into the correct position. A tiny laser is passed through the catheter and positioned at the top of your varicose vein. Ultrasound Guided Foam Sclerotherapy This treatment involves injecting special foam into your veins. The foam scars the veins, which seals them closed. This type of treatment may not be suitable if you have previously had deep vein thrombosis. Sclerotherapy can also cause side effects, including Blood clots in other leg veins Headaches Lower back pain Changes to skin color, for example, brown patches over where the treated veins were Fainting Temporary vision problems Surgery Varicose vein surgery is usually carried out under general anesthetic, which means you will be unconscious during the procedure. Ligation and stripping A thin, flexible wire is passed through the bottom of the vein and then carefully pulled out and removed through the lower cut in your leg. Creams and pills If compression stockings are not the avenue for you, you could try an over-the-counter cream whose ingredients include herbal circulation remedies like calendula extract, known for its anti-inflammatory capabilities, and vitamin E.